Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about what caliber for your AR, what caliber for your pistol, okay? Um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is a comment came up in one of the uh, videos, I forgot which platform it was on, of, um, you know, the person said 300 blackout or 556, okay? Um, so this isn't limited to, those, this discussion is not just limited to 300 blackout or 556. Uh, it could be 556 versus 308 or 556 versus uh, 65 Creedmoor. Um, same deal with the 9mm, right? We can talk about 9mm versus 40, 9mm versus 45 ACP, uh, 9mm versus 10mm. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm not going to approach this from the perspective of of the the rounds performance right we're not going to be talking about the rounds performance what i'm the, i'm going to be approaching this from the perspective of uh how much ammunition can you afford to buy okay so and by the way i'm assuming here that the person that asked this is is a beginner okay which is fine perfectly fine I'm, you know the part of the reason why i do these videos is to bring new people into the community to turn non-gun owners uh into gun owners okay so um as far as the perform, like I said, I'm not going to get into the performance into the performance discussion here because there's plenty of videos out there. I've done videos on there, uh, you know. Out, I have I've done videos on the performance of these rounds. Uh, you know, to sum it up, really short. I mean, the 5.56 and the nine millimeter are very capable rounds. The military has been using them for a very long time. Okay, so you know, so let's let's leave that there. Okay, uh, now can you? increase your performance maybe with some other cartridge maybe but here's the thing if you're new to guns and you're trying to decide which caliber you should buy right rather than looking at the statistics of you know of, of the performance of different calibers versus the two most common right the 556 and a nine millimeter i want you to come at this from the perspective of b before you buy the gun okay uh buy the ammunition okay and the amount of ammunition I would like you to buy is you're going to buy 4,000 rounds of each, okay? So the way that breaks down is on the AR-15, you're going to buy 4,000 rounds. Uh, 2,000 rounds is for reserve, and 2,000 rounds is for training, okay? And then as you use up those training rounds, you're going to replenish it. So you always have a minimal of 4,000 rounds, okay? You can, you can go above that. But never build, you know, you never want your 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 reserve your your total supply to be less than four thousand rounds. Um, same deal with the pistol; you're going to be at four thousand rounds. Um, with this, um, three thousand rounds is for training, okay, and one thousand rounds for reserve. Um, the reason why I, I changed that, right? Um, even though it's the same number of rounds, um, the pistol is a lot harder. Okay, likewise. With the rifle, we expect the, the, the rifle is going to be doing. We hope we hope is going to be doing most of the work because because it's 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 a better gun. It's easier to shoot. You can you you know everybody shoots ARs better. Okay, um, both even beginners, experienced people, you know, women, children, everybody shoots AR-15s better. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put women on AR-15s first day shooting. You know, 30 yards, they're hitting the target like a lot of times six inch targets. They'll they'll hit it a lot of times on the first shot. Okay, um, you know I put ten year old kids on AR 15s. Same deal. They're hitting the targets first shot. They can handle the recoil. The AR 15 is the better gun. It's an easier gun to learn. Okay, the pistol is basically your backup gun. It's a it's it, it, it's a lot harder to master. So you have to practice more with the pistol. So that's why, you know, um, we, we want three thousand rounds committed to training. One thousand rounds. Um, uh, for your reserve and and the reason why you, you would only need a thousand rounds for reserve um, is because you know again the rifle is your primary right so boom 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 oh crap the rifle stopped working you go to your pistol so the pistol is basically your backup gun so that's why we don't expect to be using up as much ammunition um, in you know in a shit hit the fan type of situation we don't expect to be using up as much ammunition with the pistol as we would with the rifle, okay? So, uh, so the rifle is your primary, pistol is a backup, and the way it works is if you don't if you, if you don't have your rifle with you because it's too big, you can't carry it, for, you know, wherever you're going, uh, you have your pistol. The purpose of the pistol 
is to fight your way back to your rifle, okay? So that's how these two work together. So you're committed to buying two guns, okay? Uh, you need a primary gun, you need the backup gun, okay? Um, and you, you're committed to buying a total of 8,000 rounds, okay? So the question, and, and, you're, and I want you to buy the ammunition before you even buy the gun, because if you can't afford the ammunition, uh, the gun is worthless, okay? Now, you might say, hey, listen, you know, I, I can't just, you know, buy 8,000 rounds up front. Right? And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But the point that, that you just made to yourself is why you need to stick with 5.56 five, and 9mm, right? Because if you, draw, if you go up to, let's say, um, a 300 blackout or a, um, you know, a 6.5 Creedmoor or 308, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're talking about spending two to three times more for the ammunition, okay? Uh, same deal here with the nine millimeter. If you go from, let's say, instead of shooting nine millimeter, you know, it's a, you know, you, if you're gonna get a 40 cal, right, you're probably talking about spending, I don't know, maybe an extra 25%, whatever it is, maybe an extra 50% in, in the ammunition cost of your, of your pistol, okay? So the point is, in, in this exercise, right, you're gonna buy the ammunition first, you're gonna buy a total of 8,000 rounds, 4,000 for the rifle, 4,000 for the pistol, okay? And um, if you can't afford to do that, that's fine, okay? You can, you can build up slowly over time. But the point, the point I'm making is if you can't buy those 8,000 rounds up front, you definitely should not be looking at buying a more expensive cartridge, okay? Um, because ultimately the thing that's going to make you better, right? The thing that's going to make you better uh, is is more training, more practice. Okay, um, so so having more ammunition, right? That's cheaper, that you can practice with more often, is going to get you better uh, than having more more powerful ammunition, right? Or, or, or you know, I, let me give you guys an example. I mean, I've been um, I've been training people now for twelve years. Um, you know, for most of most of the time that I've been training people, I I, I think maybe ninety five percent of my of the ammunition that I used was all steel case, right? In fact, you can. I mean, it's just a small sample here on the ground, right? You see all that 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 rust colored steel case over there, okay? Now people will say, hey, steel case is not that great, this, that, the other thing, but you know what? Um, being able to practice more gets you better, okay? So I think like last year, I I, I really started uh, messing around with match grade ammunition because now I'm actually shooting at you know I, you know I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll i'll go out and i will shoot 77 grain 556 to 600 yards right and get really nice groups okay um with match grade ammunition so I've, I've kind of worked myself up to a point where i can take advantage of the more expensive ammunition i, I don't think that i think that if you're coming into this brand new and you're coming into it with the mindset of i want to get like you know, I want to get the the most expensive stuff, right? Well, if you get the most expensive stuff, but then you can't afford to practice regularly, you're not going to be as good. You're better off getting that cheaper stuff, right? Use that to get better, you know, and then that will get you up to a certain level. And then if you decide, if you get to the point where, hey, I, I now want to, you know, I got as far as I can with this. I now want to go a little bit further than that. Uh, now you can consider trading up to something you know, that, that's going to yield more performance. And at that point, you don't need me. You can make your own decisions, right? Um, you know, because at that point, you, you, you know, you, you've developed the experience to be able to decide for yourself, you know, what you want to achieve and what's going to get you there, okay? But if, if, if you're just starting out, absolutely 100%, 5.56 and 9 millimeter is the place to start out you, the, you know you're gonna buy more ammunition train more you will get better uh and you you know a person that trains on cheaper stuff but trains more often is going to ultimately be better than somebody that has better equipment better equipment and better ammunition that doesn't train as much okay uh, other thing i'm going to mention real quick as far as gun choices ar-15 uh and a glock Okay. Uh, now this isn't even an OEM Glock. It's a it's a Glock clone, right? That I built. 
Um, the the two significant things, right? The three three criteria for gun selection that I've mentioned before. Number one, the gun has to be reliable. That means police and military tested. Now, if, obviously, if you're new to this, yes, you're not going to start off building Glocks. So just go get yourself a, a Glock, uh, a factory Glock, right? MOS, make sure it can take an optic, okay? If, if the gun will not take an optic, it's an antique at this point. Everybody shoots optics better. I put women and kids on, on these guns all the time. They all shoot the optics better than iron sights. You'll get you, eventually you'll go back and you'll get good on the iron sights too. But start off with you know with with with, with performing the best that you can possibly perform. Okay. Um, so I want to I, I recommend AR fifteens and Glocks because these the patents basically on these two guns have expired. Three criteria: uh, number one, police and military tested. Right. So that's your AR fifteens and Glocks. Um, number two, access to lots of parts. Right. So you can buy aftermarket parts fit them in there, you know, they're all basically spec, they'll fit, right? So you don't have to go back to the manufacturer to buy the parts, right? And number three criteria, um, knowledge to fix the guns, right? So um, if the gun breaks, right, you want you want to be able to find people that can fix the gun, right? right? Or, or yourself, you yourself learn how to fix the gun. Uh, AR-15s and Glocks, these are the two guns that are most commonly built. There's more people out there that know how to build AR-15s and Glocks than than any other gun, right? So, three criteria for for blocks uh, for um, um, for for gun selection: reliability, right? M military police and military tested. Uh, access to lots of parts, aftermarket parts. Don't get stuck with just having to go to the manufacturer. And knowledge to fix the guns when they break. Again, without having to go back to the manufacturer, right? Or even to a gunsmith, right? You want you want to know about lot. There's lots of people out there that know how to. Uh, fix these guns, right? And as far as the calibers, uh, nine millimeter, five five six. Get good with this, okay? When you get good with this, yeah, down the road you can expand into other calibers. Like, I mean, I got tons of other calibers, right? I've got, I got forties, I got forty fives, I got three oh eights, I got AK rounds, I got, you know, I mean, I got tons of other calibers. But you're coming into this uh, as a beginner. Stick with the with the common stuff. There's a reason why the military and police, you know, police use five five six and uh, and and nine millimeter, right? There's there's a lot there's a lot of uh, um, basically there's a good cost benefit to these two calibers. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you all soon.